Greetings, friends, and welcome to another edition of American Nomad. I'm that guy from Reno, and welcome to Tahoe's East Shore Trail. I'm going to trail run it today, and you're going to run along with me, and I'm going to let you know what you need to know before you go so you can have the best day ever. Even before the first line was drawn on a map in 1988, residents and visitors of North Lake Tahoe have been dreaming of a trail that provides a safer alternative for cyclists and beachgoers near the scenic east shore of Lake Tahoe. Through the work of 13 partners, the impossible is now a reality with the opening of the new Tahoe East Shore Trail. The opportunity now exists to explore an even wider variety of terrain, whether walking, riding, rolling. But here's what you need to know before you go. The path is 10 feet wide and three miles long from the start over at the Tunnel Creek parking area to Sand Harbor. It's relatively flat with about an 8% grade at its steepest point. So everybody can access it. All types of vehicles or modes of transportation, I should say, are welcome. Bikes, uh, of course, the trail is completely ADA compliant. Pedal assisted e-bikes are welcome, but you need to leave motorized scooters at home, obviously. Um, parking is at the SR28 trailhead, and I'll have links to all that and whatnot. There's 91 new spots, but still, on a busy day, you're going to want to get there early. And if you want to park in the Sand Harbor parking lot, um, you're going to have to get there real early. That being said, there is also shuttle service um, that will pick you up at the old Incline Elementary School. Uh, it's three bucks for the general public, a buck and a half for seniors. There's bike rentals available as well if you want to bike it. But today we're doing a trail run along this most incredible path. Uh, I ran it to Sand Harbor and back, so it was approximately six miles round trip, and it was just absolutely stunning. There's 11 new beach access points, so there's all kinds of new areas to explore that really weren't accessible before. Plenty of places to lock your bikes up um, so you can go exploring along the way. For me personally, it was just amazing. I started my day off real early doing a little bit of astrophotography or at least attempting to. I'm in the process of learning how to do it. And the energy and electricity of the area is absolutely magical. But you want to uh, pack correctly. Um, make sure you have everything you need. As you see as we're uh, running along the bridge, it's super early in the morning here. It's about uh, 6.50 a.m. And it was about 18 degrees out, just the way I like it. But be careful on the bridges. Uh, they can ice up. And they also can get very hot in the summertime. So um, keep that in mind with your children and your pets. Uh, pets are welcome if they're leashed. You have to pick up after them, please. I did see a lot of dog poop along the way, so those people that are leaving that behind, shame on you. You need to pick up after yourself. It's a pack it in, pack it out situation. But when it comes to the pups as well in the summertime, keep in mind that uh, the surfaces are going to get extremely hot, so you may want to leave them behind on a really hot day. Now because it's so popular and busy, there is trail etiquette as you could imagine. The path is very popular for walkers and cyclists. Please stay to the right and pass on the left. Don't walk more than four across the pass and cyclists must yield to hikers. As I approach the southernmost end of the trail, it concludes at San Harbor, a most amazing magical place. Every time I come here, I see and experience something new. The outdoor activities are endless, so I'm not even gonna list them, but I will be sure to leave plenty of appropriate links for you. Be sure to like and subscribe and be a part of the conversation. Share your experiences on Lake Tahoe's East Shore Trail and uh, share your thoughts and advice with uh, the other members of the channel. I do want to remind everybody one last time, this is a pack it in, pack it out situation. Lake Tahoe is at its clearest in years and we even have scuba teams now going out and picking up debris uh, using scuba gear to keep Lake Tahoe looking pristine for generations to come. It's everybody's responsibility, so let's take it seriously. We'll see you next time on American Nomad 
and we look forward to seeing you out on Lake Tahoe's East Shore Trail. Blessings to you and yours.